Welcome back to the channel guys. It has been a while and so much has happened in the wizarding world. Hogwarts Legacy looks amazing and the Secrets of Dumbledore promo is moving fast. Very fast. There's been so many new teasers, TV spots, cast featurettes and so much more. There's far too much to break down individually but I want to use this video to talk about how I feel Warner Brothers and the Fantastic Beast team might be moving maybe a bit too fast. Perhaps they're showing too much and even spoiling the movie. But as always, before we start, if you're a fan of the Fantastic Beast series of Harry Potter and the Wizard World, make sure you subscribe. I've already booked my tickets. 8th of April, Secrets of Dumbledore. Can't wait. But yeah, let's get to this. So yeah, they've done countless TV spots teasers and other fun featurettes, and even full scenes, or at least close to it. You know what I'm talking about. Talking about the Dumbledore blood pact scene in the Hog's Head, where Dumbledore explains the blood pact to Theseus and Newt, and even shows them what it does when he thinks of defying Grindelwald. The blood pact attacks Dumbledore. It wraps itself around his wrist, even wraps itself around his neck. It's like it's trying to kill him, or at least punish him for defying Grindelwald. But I think the Blood Pact deserves its own video, where we can talk about the scene in full and explain the pact between Dumbledore and Grindelwald, and what it means for Fantastic Beasts Free and beyond. And then there's also the Dumbledore and Grindelwald dinner meeting scene, where Dumbledore confesses his love, which was amazing to see and hear, and I can't wait for that scene in the movie. But I think we're kind of overreacting because if you've read the books, you would have known this since like 2007. But of course, we still need to hear Grindelwald's side of the story, which is the most intriguing part. Did he love Dumbledore in return? But we'll talk more about this in the Blood Pack video, which is probably going to turn into a Dumbledore and Grindelwald explainer. Yeah, we also have to talk about Tina. Tina Goldstein is actually in a trailer. And it's not just a picture. It's her full appearance. She appears twice. And quick spoiler warning, as always, I believe that's all she has in this movie. That was reported a while back, and I'm kind of questioning why they would show off Tina and some of the biggest and most crucial scenes in this film. Well, guys, the studio is going all out. They need The Secrets of Dumbledore to be a hit and do very well at the box office. So don't underestimate how important this movie is as it will decide the future of Fantastic Beasts and what direction the Wizard World takes on the big screen. It needs to do well to guarantee a fourth film and hopefully a fifth and final. I told you guys ages ago it was reported this would be a short but effective marketing campaign and we're in it now. They want to build as much hype as they can and if that means showing off a lot of the Dumbledore and Grindelwald scenes then so be it. Because honestly guys that's what most people are here for. That's what I care about. I'm a fan of Newt's Commander, the Fantastic Beasts, Dumbledore's first army, all the characters. But Dumbledore, Dumbledore's the man. He's what I'm really here for. And we can kind of say that for Tina. There's been a massive fan outcry for her. And that's probably why they've decided to show her off. Because it gets fans talking. And I bet you, if we do get a fourth film, Tina will be one of the most important characters. But yeah, crazy times right now in the Fantastic Beasts fandom. Not sure if we're going to get another full length trailer, an official third trailer, as I feel they've kind of shown as much as they should. But honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if we do get one. Honestly, I'm not sure what they can do now to top what we've already seen. But guys, I'm loving all the cast interactions, all the featurettes, the TV spots, from them talking about the film, explaining their characters, and generally just having a blast. I'm really getting a good vibe from everyone. But at the same time, I'm kind of conflicted that perhaps they might have shown too much, and perhaps spoiled, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. There's still a lot of this film we haven't seen, I believe it's like 2 hours 20 minutes long, and I am confident it's going to be a special movie. Let's also talk about Hogwarts Legacy. I am a big gamer, but it's not something I want to do on the channel. But I will say this, I grew up with the Harry Potter games, and the Philosopher's Stone was my first video game on the PlayStation 1. So this game, Hogwarts Legacy, is made for someone like me. And generally, it just looks like a good game. And I'll definitely be getting it day one if I can. It looks amazing. 
and I just can see myself playing this for days on end. But I think that'll do it. I do apologise, I have been pretty quiet lately. I've not been posting videos, but I needed a break. It got a bit hectic around here with new footage, with what felt like every other day. The videos were kinda getting on top of me, so I had to take a step back. A lot of it was very similar to what I've discussed in my trailer breakdowns, and it was getting to a point where I was coming home from work and I was a video behind, or even more. I know many of you guys would love me to break down all the stuff, but it's just too much. But I will be doing a full length Dumbledore Grindelwald blood pack video, that's a work in progress, and so is the Fox video that I mentioned a while ago. I did promise that, and that is coming. And of course I'll cover anything else that's important, we'll talk about all that stuff, and if you've got any requests just leave them below as well. But I think that'll do it, so make sure you post your thoughts on the Fantastic Beasts Secrets of Dumbledore campaign, from all the promotions, the marketing, and just generally talk about all the new stuff, from the Blood Pack, Tina, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, just a quick one, nothing too stressful though, first video back, wanted to just take it easy. But yeah, make sure you subscribe for more videos. Anyways guys, rambled again, so it's time to call it a day. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you soon.